Let's make some peppermint candy wax melts today. Place your metal pitch pour on the digital scale, then press the tear button to zero out the weight. Your scale should read zero, then take the pitch pour and add one pound of C55 wax. Always check your temperature first with your thermometer before adding your oil. For best results, melt your wax from 210 to 225 degrees. That way it helps the fragrance oil bind to your wax. You can pause the screen to take a screenshot of how much oil to add to your wax. There's a simple formula with examples on the left hand side. Then take your pitch pour and stir very well for 60 seconds. I'm using peppermint twist fragrance oil from Stay Fresh with Peanut. The mold I'm using is made by ramblindarling.com. You can purchase it directly from them, or it will also be available from our website during our Black Friday sale at stayfreshwithpeanut.com. For some extra sparkle, you can add some glitter in your mold. I like to use chunky glitter. I'm gonna get a little bit of red, silver, just to give it that extra sparkle. Add your red candle dye chips and the Dixie cup, then pour C55 and stir. Then I will take a plastic pipette to apply the red wax and the swirl part inside the mold. You can use and color your wax any color you would like. Once you're finished, it's very important to allow this wax to cool for 10 minutes. This will keep it from bleeding into the remaining wax you're going to pour in. If you're just starting out and you're making a small batch, I recommend pouring your wax carefully into a small Dixie cup. It just allows you to have a better handle when you're pouring the wax straight into the mold. As it's cooling about five minutes in, if you'd like, you may go ahead and add some extra glitter on the top during the cooling process before it hardens. That's it, after four hours, now I'm ready to demold my Peppermint Twist Candy Wax Melts. They came out very cute, and I was very happy with the overall process of how easy it was. Now in the description box, I listed some options for packaging because that's a very common question, how to package these um, wax melts. So in the description, there is a link that you can check them out for different packaging types. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the subscribe button to be notified for future tutorials, like and share. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.